Hey, good morning. Today we're talking brake pedals. Brake pedals on the Model A. Uh, this thing's a challenge. If you've ever worked on something like this, you know better than me that there's just not a lot of space inside these things. Uh, and when I got down here to do my brake pedals, steering column, <clears throat> shifter, all that stuff, I discovered, man, there is just not much room in there. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you guys how I determine how long my brake pedal should be and how I'm going to maximize that room Check in the floorboard. Check it out. The first thing I had to do uh, was totally rebuild my transmission tunnel. When I first built it, this was just straight from here down, and uh, I discovered there was just no room in here. No room to put a foot, a pedal for a brake, a pedal for a gas, uh, so I reshaped my whole, whole transmission tunnel. The lesson I learned on that was uh, don't be afraid, man. Don't be afraid to break out the cutting wheel, cut things up if it isn't right. So once I got that, what I figured out, what I'm working on next, is how long this brake pedal has to be. As you can see, I don't have a lot of space there next to the steering column, so uh, I had to do a little bit of math. Okay, so here's my math. For a power brake system, which is what I have on my Model A, I've got a booster setup. The ratio's gotta be somewhere between four to one to five to one for the brake pedal length. Uh, how we figure out that ratio, X to Y. X being this distance from your pivot to where your pedal is, Y being this distance from where the pivot is down to the uh, plunger on the brake booster itself. Put the calipers on here and measure this. This is a two inches. And in order to get that ratio of four to one to five to one, I'm here, I gotta have either eight inches for my X distance or 10 inches, somewhere to get there from four to five to one. So I kind of measured it off in there, figured out this is where I need to be right in this area here. And as you can see, I marked it, I started cutting. What I'm gonna do is cut this brake pedal up and uh, make that my new length and it should work for my power brakes. So. Technique for you, always wear eye protection. Uh, it's easy to get something in your eye. Also, I wear this guy anytime I'm operating a death wheel. This thing is risky, with a lot of hazard in it. However, it's a useful tool and mitigate the risk by wearing protection. Alright, so check it out. We did the measuring, we got the cut, did the cutting, I mocked it up. I got the right angle on here, and what I figured out was finally from here to my pivot point, nine inches, which is right in the middle of the sweet spot for that ratio, uh, to have a good pedal with the booster in the car. So I'm gonna go in here, uh, I'm gonna weld this up and uh, button it up and check it out once I get done. Check it out, see how we did. Here we go, not the best welder, but I go through grinding discs so much you should probably buy stock in them. Uh, I'm gonna flip this over, 
Boiled up the bottom end of it, cooled it off, and uh, we'll put it in there and check out how we did. All right, so check it out. There it is, the brake pedal mounted in there. Uh, you can see the handy work we did. Welding there up. And as you can see, there's just, just not a lot of room down in there for everything. But there we go. Enough room to work a brake pedal. Enough room to have a gas pedal over here. Let's see. Enough room to do some burnouts, proper burnouts. Okay, alright. I know some purists are going to be angry. There's not a third pedal there, but uh, hey, you work what you got. So. Uh, this guy's got an automatic, so we don't have to worry about it. But, looks like we're all set up. Uh, I wanted to make my brake pedal just as close as I could to my steering column. So that uh, I had maximum room right here for the gas pedal. So, that'll be the next thing we do. Try to figure out how to get in here and make enough space for that to fit. But this is where I had to start. Got to pick a starting point and go from there. Alright man, so check it out. <coughs> Now we got the brake pedal set in with the spacing appropriate. I was able to at least temporarily mount my gas pedal. Uh, I just put it in there with some sheet metal screws for now, but it allows me, I think that's a good spot, allows me room to have a hit my brakes without accidentally hitting my gas pedal, right? We don't want accidental burnouts, but I also have enough space I can get in here and do it the right way. All right. That project's done, now I can move on to the next one, which is figuring out how the shifter's gonna mount, where my e-brake's gonna go, and then uh, permanently mount my seats, and we will go from there. All right, so you guys have to let me know what you think, uh, how we did on the gas pedal, brake pedal combo. Uh, hopefully I can make some more of these videos, and not just uh, put pictures out there, but uh, check it out. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more, you want to see something specific, uh, you want to know how I did something or how I'm going to do something, let me know. Otherwise, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, tell a friend about it. Thanks.